All right, welcome back to another War of Rights map briefing. This one, this one should be probably the shortest map briefing I do. We're looking at downtown as part of the Harper Ferries uh, series of, of of maps here. And uh, if you know the map, you, you you should know why it should be a relatively short briefing. Anyways, we start with the point of contention. It's yeah. Again, hit T. If it says capture and defending, you're on it. But it, it's in and around this intersection. I'll say that. Uh, this is a CSA attacking map. This is a map where only the CSA have artillery. And yeah, yeah. I, I actually think, well, you know, I'm a little biased. But I, I think CSA's already and, and already on this map can be huge uh, if, if they know what to do. Anyways. We're in the attacker's spawn. This is going to be the spawn that they use for the game. You're, most of your avenues are, are are pretty well set up. There's some other things you can do, but whatever. Uh, you get to this first intersection. and uh, All right, we'll just stay with the map. This is your, your intersection, and you have two choices. right? You go right, and you get to the point of contention that way. Or you go straight, and you get to the point of contention that way. It's a small map. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's a small map. Uh, CSA does have Artie. And the CSA Artie, if it's manhandled into the right place, can absolutely get this ranged in, this intersection. And the game... It's more important, I think, to talk a little bit about how you defend this than, than anything else. The game for the Union defenders here is you pretty much have to hold at least two positions really well. The staircase here, and you can go up a certain certain ways before yeah before you time out. So you can't use the entire staircase, but you can pack a lot of folks in there. Now that we have 300 man servers, and who knows what we'll what we'll get in the future, right? Uh, you have a big team, you're not going to get most of them there, but you can get some of them there. As an auxiliary, you could have some folks standing around the corner here who could also step out and, and shoot. Uh, but usually the CSA is going to want to build up its forces and then push one side, the other, or sometimes both. All right. How the Union can defend over here, uh, you defend usually when you know the CSA is coming is you, you step back a little bit and you defend here. Sometimes the, the Union will flare out at an angle uh, either towards the point or away from the point, but, uh, some some sort of angle like that, and they'll just take turns. Everybody shooting the the next person that comes around, and the CSA has to try to make it up on the back end. And from here, right, you can see the stairs and the two positions can can support one another. But it's it's really about reaction time. Sometimes the unions will throw skirmishers in here and uh, back here. Leaving you back here, yeah, without timing out, and it just allows them to dink anybody and to, to warn folks when they are are coming. Sometimes the CSA, I, I don't know, if this happens in in pub all that often, but you know, lots of things can happen in pub, so I, I guess you could say it does. Uh, is that the CSA will push and then they will try to move quickly through these backyards. I believe they'll be in bounds the whole time, and they can get back in here, and they can be a real pain for the the union to clear out. Uh, flags are not that important. This is like one of the the, the few times where I'm going to say, for the most part, flags aren't going to be that important if you're going to go into a melee. If the CSA gets themselves embedded in a position where they can trade off shots, and, you know, sure, take the flag, save save time. Uh, but usually those will be a lot of independent fire affairs. It's going to be pretty slow, and folks could probably run from, from spawn. It might just be worth it to have four more combatants in the line. Uh, this is a map that almost never... Right, if we're talking about pub play, is is, is going to go full time uh, because of uh, the number of Adeline skirmishings and, and, and the amount of melee that is here. Uh, I've won and lost this map a lot as both the Union and the, the Confederates on this one. I found that when CSA already can get the, the range here and they know that a charge is coming, so the Union have to come up. Cap recap is not viable on, on this map. Uh, I, I've seen the CSA cap it early, but I've never seen the, the Union take it back. But uh, having said that, the Union kind of have to hang out around Point. Point is visible from CSA already. The Union don't really have a counter to that, and so that, that tends to make for uh, a rough time. And a lot of times as the Union defenders, you just got to eat it. As the Union defenders, you're just spawning down the road here. And so you might want flags because a lot of times the Union might have roving groups of troops. You can get folks who uh, are up here 
on parts of this raised railroad and they can shoot down again almost into CSA spawn. It'll help a little bit, uh, but it doesn't help for the, the crucial melees. And as the Union, you don't want to lose this. If you do temporarily lose the stairs, you'll usually see the Union group up, and then they will mass charge this and, and take it. And as the CSA, you usually just elect to, to take it and try to deal as many casualties as you can. So that is downtown. Uh, yeah, that's that's downtown. It's it's bloody. It's fun. You know, if you've just sat through a 60-minute round with cap and recap, this is certainly a nice change of pace. And uh, welcome to Harper's Ferry.